Welcome to In the Workshop, a Cotswold Heritage Atlas Steam Plant Part 1 Layout Options. This is a really good looking engine, very detailed, and it will look really good as a centrepiece to a high quality steam plant. First of all though, it's time to oil it. And to do this, I'm applying some of my homemade concoction, which is 50% steam oil, 25% machine oil, and 25% rapeseed oil. I also put some oil in the airline, and as I opened the air valve, the engine suddenly started working. Here I'm oiling the valve rod because I forgot that. I'll stop talking for a moment so you can hear it running. This is the baseboard supplied by the owner of the engine. The engine should look really good as a centrepiece on this baseboard. First of all though, I need to look at the layout. The baseboard is 80 centimeters long. Obviously the engine's going in the center, but I have to fit the spoiler to the right hand side of it. And to balance it out, on the other side of the engine, I'm going to fit the condenser and a water tank. And in order to pump the water into the boiler, I'm going to fit a hand pump at this side too. Here's another angle to see what it's going to look like. This is called a Kingdon boiler. These are normally used in marine applications, but in this case it seems to fit very well with this style of engine. I intend to fit this displacement lubricator which is smaller than the normal type, because somehow it matches the fine scale of the model. I will need to modify the existing piping, which is a bit of a rat's nest anyway, and make a special T-piece to allow me to fit the lubricator into the steam line. There are two steam unions on top of the boiler and I described these in the video about this Kingdom boiler. This one is the steam outlet after the superheater, so this is where the hot steam comes from. And this is the exhaust inlet to pipe the exhaust up the chimney to draw the fire. This is a dual fuel boiler and I've run it on coal as well as gas. This small valve nearest the camera is the blower valve, but this won't need to be used because it's going to be gas fired but a blower is very essential if you have a steam boiler running on coal. I can't say much more in this first video. The only thing missing is the hand pump and I will go up to Blackgates Engineering later today and buy one of those. So I'm going to finish this first introduction video with the engine running. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.